Hello and welcome to SAS Bootcamp. This video is a brief introduction of the summer class I teach at the University of Mississippi called Data Management and Statistical Software. I have been teaching this class for about four years now, but given that most of us are working from home in the summer of 2020, I am now recording my lectures from home and making them publicly available on YouTube. Before you watch this class, a little bit of information about me first. My name is Sujit Ramachandran, and I am an assistant professor at the University of Mississippi School of Pharmacy, the Department of Pharmacy Administration. I am also the assistant director of the Center for Pharmaceutical Marketing and Management. To those of you that have never met me in person before, this is not what I usually look like with my mustache and hair. This is a product of the eight week quarantine that I've been under so far. Um, and if you meet me after this, I may not look like this, so you may not recognize me. But moving on, I got my PhD at the University of Mississippi School of Pharmacy in 2017 in pharmacy administration. And my research interest is in health outcomes, healthcare quality, and prescription drug abuse. I have extensive experience with administrative claims data from Medicare and Medicaid, and a background in psychometrics, patient reported outcomes, and conjoint analysis. I teach PhD courses on data, data management, which is this class, patient reported outcomes, and pharmacoepidemiology. I'm also a passionate student of health policy. I enjoy teaching and I hope to give back to the community in any way I can. A little more about this course next. I have been programming for about eight years now and my expertise with SAS lies squarely within the realm of health services research or what you might generally call health outcomes research. I am a researcher first and a programmer second, meaning that this bootcamp is going to be very applied in nature. Uh, you will not find any information in these lectures about how SAS works behind the scenes. I will only talk about how to apply SAS commands and functions to work on your research. This bootcamp will also not teach anything about statistical techniques and its application within SAS, especially the advanced statistical techniques. Instead, it will focus on data management and data manipulation to set up your analytic files. This series of videos that you are about to watch are introductory in nature and are aimed specifically for the health services researcher audience that has not used SAS before. The videos are only meant to be an introduction to SAS and I have carefully chosen topics that are relevant and necessary for health services researchers. So this list of topics I'm teaching may not be what you find in a textbook or other resources aimed at a more general audience. But if you have never tried SAS before, this set of videos should give you enough information to get you started on your own SAS journey. At the end of this bootcamp, with adequate practice, you should be able to conduct data management and some introductory statistical tests on your own. You should also be able to use publicly available data sets, large or big data in the form of administrative claims or electronic health records, and of course, any other data sets that you may have put together on your own. What this bootcamp will not teach you is how to run any advanced statistical models or to use data beyond those commonly used in health services research. Next, some more information about this class and we begin with course resources. What resources do you need to be successful in this SAS bootcamp? First, I recommend a couple of textbooks. These textbooks are so that you can read and improve your SAS learning experience. The first book I recommend is the little SAS book for which I have actually assigned readings in my classes syllabus. And second, learning SAS by example. Please consider purchasing these textbooks. If you do not have access to these books, you're welcome to merely rely on Google to learn SAS. Uh, there are many, many websites and forums for SAS help online. So if you ever have problems or if there is something you don't understand, just Google your questions and you are likely to find an answer for it on some website. Second resource you need for this bootcamp is the SAS software itself. If you ever want to be truly comfortable with SAS, watching videos of me teaching SAS is not going to be enough. You need to actually practice SAS on your own. If you have a SAS license and you have installed SAS on your computer, you can use that to practice. If you do not have access to a SAS license, SAS actually provides a free online version called SAS Studio that you should be able to use for your practice. I am going to share instructions on how to get access to SAS Studio on my screen right now. I will also leave a link for registration for SAS Studio in, the, in this video's description. So please pause this video um, as soon as I can share this. Please pause this video, take a screenshot, and then follow these instructions to set up your SAS video, to set up your SAS Studio before you proceed further along this bootcamp. You are also welcome to use the link I leave at the bottom of this description in order to help you get started.
Next, in order to successfully complete this course, you will also need access to SAS code files, data sets, homeworks, exercises, and lecture outlines. I will share all of these three these files with you through two approaches. First, all the SAS data sets and code files will be shared with you on SAS Studio itself if you follow the instructions that I just shared with you on the previous screen. Second, the exercises and homeworks and lecture outlines, I will share these with you during my videos on my screen during each week's content. Right now, I'm going to share my course syllabus on my screen. Please feel free to pause the video, take a screenshot, save it to your computer. These are the list of topics that we are going to talk about during the course of this bootcamp. I'm going to pause for just a second so you can pause the video and take a screenshot. Next, let's talk about the structure of this course. This SAS bootcamp lasts about seven weeks, starting June 15th, 2020 to July 31st, 2020. Each week on Monday, I will upload a set of videos to YouTube that cover the content of that week and present the relevant homework. At the end of the week on Friday, I will post another video where I go over the homework that I assigned on Monday and I will answer questions relevant to that week's content. You are welcome to watch these videos at your own pace and complete them on your own schedule. You do not need to submit your homework or assignments or any of your class projects to me. I will not be reviewing anything you submit. Each week's class will include an exercise and a homework along with example data sets and code files so you can practice on these materials directly. This course also has a class project that actually ties together several of the projects we will, several of the concepts we will go over. Uh, and that will be due at the last week of the class but of course, you don't have to actually submit it to me. I just want you to work on it for your own learning. All the data sets used in this bootcamp are example files only and are not real data. Please do not use them to conduct any research. I will work on making all of these publicly available through a public access folder. Uh, and when that is done, I will add a link to that in this video's description. Next, how are we going to manage interactivity in this bootcamp? I promised when I made the post on my LinkedIn about this bootcamp that this class would be interactive and you wouldn't just have to watch videos of me teaching SAS. Now, given the response to my original LinkedIn post, I've had to reevaluate how I manage this interactivity. But I believe the interactive nature is important because as you are learning SAS, you will have errors in your code and you will struggle with some things. And the only way to learn SAS at that point is to continue to spend many hours practicing and working on the software and then to have someone answer your questions when you run into a problem. So I don't want to take away that interactive component. So here is my proposed solution. If you are committed to learning SAS from this course, watch the videos on Monday, then work through the homework and the exercises. And then all question and answers will be conducted through Twitter. Anytime you have a problem, take a picture of your screen or take a screenshot of what you're working on, post it to Twitter, ask your question. If you're watching the videos and some concept that I'm explaining is not clear to you, ask a clarification question on Twitter. Remember when you ask these questions to tag my Twitter profile at Dr. Sujit Ram, that's at D-R-S-U-J-I-T-H-R-A-M and use the hashtag SAS Bootcamp, hashtag SAS Bootcamp when you share your questions. I or one of my colleagues that is going to be helping me with this bootcamp will respond to your questions as soon as we get a chance to do so. When I post my follow-up lecture on Fridays, I will actually try and spend some time answering questions that you have posted on Twitter. So you can also see me directly answering these questions on video. I am choosing Twitter for doing this because it is real time, it is quick and convenient, both for pictures and for answers. It is also useful to use this to interact with all the other people taking this class. You can post your thoughts, your feedback, your successes, your struggles, on Twitter and form a community of SaaS learners that I think can be very powerful. Finally, anyone that is watching these videos in the future can just search for hashtag SaaS Bootcamp on Twitter and find all of our great discussion which will help them with their own learning experience as well. So please try and commit to using Twitter. If you are not a Twitter user currently, please go ahead and create an account. Follow me at Dr. Sujit Ram and tweet your thoughts using hashtag SaaS Bootcamp. I'm going to try and address a few questions that I've repeatedly received so far as part of this bootcamp. First, many people have asked me, how do they sign up for this course? Well, let me clarify and say there is no sign up process for this course. 
Just follow me on LinkedIn, follow me on Twitter, and I will post class content twice a week. And that is how I will administer this course's content. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel and you can set up notifications so that every time I upload a video, you get an email notification about it. Having said all of that, I would like to get to know all of you that are participating in this class. So please help do me a favor and fill out a short two minute survey so I can understand who you are and what your needs are. Filling the survey out can help me tailor the rest of this bootcamp's topics and teaching to the topics that you may be interested in. The link to this survey is posted at the bottom of this video in its description. Next question. Some people have asked me if they can get a certificate that shows that they completed this bootcamp. Unfortunately, my response to that is no. I am doing this bootcamp on my own free time and I do not have the ability to put together certificates or to verify if you've actually participated in all of the videos and the content for this bootcamp. So there will be no certificates. Some people have asked me, is this course really free? Why are you not charging anything? Well, let me clarify. The course is absolutely free. You do not need to pay me any money for doing this. I am doing this for a couple of reasons. First, I recognize the real need for learning SaaS in the HEOR community. And I realize how lucky and privileged I have been throughout my career that I've had the opportunities to learn these things from people that know how to do them. So this is my way of giving back to the community and help sharing, uh, help with sharing my learnings with all of you guys. Second, the world is in a really difficult place today. And I understand that between all the protests for police brutality and racism that we see in the United States today and the global pandemic that is costing hundreds of thousands of lives across the world, I understand we live in a difficult situation. I wanted to find a way to make a difference during this difficult time, and this is how I am able to contribute. So to reiterate, this course is free, but there are ways that you can give back in return for your participation in this course. I turned 30, year old, 30 years old in two days from the posting of this video, and I wanna use this opportunity to raise some money for some charities that I care about. I have pasted links to some of these charities that are close to my heart in the video's description. All of these charities are related to education in the poor communities, either near my hometown in India or my adopted town in Oxford, Mississippi. If you benefit from these classes and you would like to contribute or give back in any way, please donate any small amount that you can to these organizations and leave them a note saying you found them through the SAS Bootcamp. Again, to clarify, your donation is not required, but it is very much appreciated. Together, we may be able to make this world a slightly better place. Finally, if you're still watching this video, some unabashed self-promotion. Uh, first, please follow me on LinkedIn, on Twitter. I will share my research, my publication, other things I find interesting and I'm passionate about uh, in health policy on all of my social media platforms. I also have a blog that you should check out when you have some time. I write articles about various issues in health policy, uh, and I will leave links to all of these things in the description of this video. Second, the University of Mississippi Department of Pharmacy Administration, where I work, uh, is one of the best programs of its kind in the United States. If you are at a pharmaceutical company or a consulting company watching this video, consider reaching out to me for your research or your consulting needs. Along with my colleagues, we have a track record of continuous research funding throughout my career as a faculty member. And we have extensive experience working with the pharmaceutical industry through the Center for Pharmaceutical Marketing and Management. I have expertise in several disease areas, statistical techniques, and methodology for research in pharmacoepidemiology and patient reported outcomes. We also have access to a lot of data from the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services and other data sets that are valuable for these projects. If you are a fellow researcher in health economics and outcomes research, please reach out to me if you want to collaborate. I would love to offer my help on your projects and work with you if we have shared research interests. If you are a student from anywhere in the world, that is interested in pursuing an MS or a PhD, a graduate degree within this field, please apply and come to the University of Mississippi. We have some excellent faculty who are incredibly friendly and extremely talented individuals. You will be joining a group of people that will care about you and cheer for your success and we would love to have you here. That is all I have for this video. I look forward to spending the next few weeks with all of you. Please get on Twitter, tweet your thoughts at me with the hashtag SASBootCamp. I'm already overwhelmed, absolutely overwhelmed by all of the response to this bootcamp. And I would love to hear your thoughts, get to know each of you and interact with each of you. Please remember to link to complete the short survey I have linked below. Good luck. I hope you find these videos useful on your SaaS journey. Goodbye and see you soon.